India on its part has been pushing a lot of the green energy projects. Uh, one in India itself, I mean, today we have one of the largest solar programs in the world. Uh, and uh, we've also been uh, uh, using, uh, you know, both bilateral partnership programs and uh, uh, International Solar Alliance to push uh, uh, green uh, electricity generation, especially in Africa. But I think resources is one, uh, you know, we have seen, look, look back, we financed development using soft loans, you know, by, by skewing lending, we could actually take the world in a certain direction. So if we did more green lending, it is uh, exactly what Tony said, practically the world will be moving in that direction. But that also means uh, governmental policies. It means change of public mindsets. You know, look, you still have, uh, for example, uh, a lot of opposition to big hydro projects. You have opposition to nuclear projects. And I understand why. I mean, uh, there have been past experiences. There are collateral challenges with, with come with, with all of that. But the fact is, today, we have to look at a lot of these uh, issues with, with uh, clearer eyes, if you would, with fresher eyes, uh, and understand that uh, until we do big hydro, unless we do uh, more nuclear, uh, even, and, and again, I want to, it's not just an energy issue. You know, water is a big issue. Agriculture is a big issue. I mean, when we say sustainability, it's not just about generating power or polluting uh, the atmosphere. Now, uh, we've seen, for example, in India that uh, as we moved, uh, done some long needed reforms on more sustainable agriculture, uh, that's also had its own uh, challenges. Uh, so uh, it's, it's a, certainly an issue for the government. It's an issue uh, for the private sector. It's an issue for the technology sector. It's an issue for civil society. 